Oh, this is such an amazing sighting. They are so precious. Oh, it is a little bit difficult, of course, because she's tucked them away. She's such a good mother. She Sorry about that earlier. Oh, it seems as though the gremlins got us. And rightly so, maybe they don't want us to spend too much time here. And thank you very much, lovely lady, for lifting your leg and now showing everybody all the little cubs. That is so precious. Now, they're very, very young. I reckon their eyes have only just recently opened. So I would say they're about three weeks old. Maybe just three weeks old, in fact. Which is very lucky to see them. We've actually been driving around here and spending quite a bit of time within this area. The five musketeers, the cheetahs, were actually almost around here. And there was a female cheetah, too, hanging about in the area. So I'm, I'm very happy that Mom is back and Mom's been looking after him. We probably just missed her over the last few days. But isn't that a nice little surprise before we head back across the river? So, I, w I mean, I would absolutely sit here the entire game drive. Because I know what's going to happen is once they finish suckling, they're going to be quite excited. Now, Ginger, you're wondering how old are lion cubs when their eyes first open? Uh, it's anywhere between 10 and 14 days or so. So they could actually be a little bit less than three weeks. Uh, maybe even they're only just 20 days old or so. They're still slightly wobbly on their feet. Typically, three to four weeks or so, they start to lose that wobbliness and they're able to move around a little bit more. And then at about five weeks, uh, they can they can move around, they can walk, they can, they'll start to run, they'll still be a little bit clumsy. It's going to take some time for them to start developing the necessary muscles that they need to walk properly. And I really, really hope that mom takes care of them. I think she she's doing a sterling job already and I'm very thankful that she has allowed us to view them. Because what she could have done is that she could have run away. And she, like I said, she looks a little bit nervous. But she ducked down into the lugger. She jumped over the water. It was a huge leap. And and then she was fine. Then she sat down and all the little cubs were very excited. I actually didn't even hear a peep. She didn't make a sound. And sometimes what lionesses will do when they're approaching a den is they'll start sort of that soft ooh, ooh, calling. And then you'll hear that wow, wow of the little ones. And they can make sounds straight from when they're born, these youngsters. And that's obviously how they move around and communicate with one another because they can't see. Now, Aya, you're wondering if I think that it could be a first litter? And no, I don't think so. Uh, when she was staring at us, and, and maybe you'll see if you go back and take a look at some of the screenshots, because I'm pretty sure you all would have taken some screenshots. She she looked like she's, she's not a particularly old lion, but I think she must be about maybe five six seven somewhere around there between five and seven she's she's not too young she's not too old so this i think this could maybe be her second litter or so her ears were fairly tatty but i mean that also just depends maybe she had a rough upbringing maybe her siblings were quite rough with her and her ears were damaged that way i don't i don't think that this is her first litter though and She's got so many, too. She's got four. Every time I've ever seen a lioness give birth for the first time, normally it's two two or three, sometimes even just one cub, and then normally a bit more after that. But maybe that's also just a coincidence. I mean, to have four little cubs, that's wonderful. That's a lovely size litter. I don't think I've seen a lioness. With, I think the most I've ever seen has been four, four young cubs. Amazing. Right, now everybody, I'm very sorry, but I think we're going to say goodbye to these little lions. I do want to keep this spot a secret. I want these little cubs to have the best chance that they have of surviving, and I don't want to give this den away, because it is a high-density sort of area for predators, all that type of thing, so we'll sneak off. But I hope you enjoyed it, and maybe when we come across in the next few days, we can come back and see if she's had them. She wouldn't. She, hopefully she wouldn't have moved them just yet. She'll probably only move them in a few weeks' time when they're comfortable. Anyways, we're going to send you back across to the birthday boy, Mr. Scott, and I wonder if he's made himself a party hat. <laughs>